Dub Nation, we have a lot to unpack on today's show. I am your host of Warriors Today, Allie Barefoot. Producer Trace is right here to my right. And Draymond Green has punched somebody yet again. This time it was Nurkic on the Suns. He was ejected in the third quarter. And there could be a suspension possibly coming. We're going to unpack that as well as Shams from The Athletic did report today that Klay Thompson, the Golden State Warriors, actually had a contract deal before the season started. But now on December 13th, there is no deal. We're going to talk more about that towards the end of the show. But first, I want to hear your reaction from last night's ejection. This is the third time Draymond Green has been ejected this season. The Dubs have played 23 games so far. So, should he be suspended again? If so, tell me why in the comments down below. If you don't think so, tell me why not. Because I'm going to bring up why I think he possibly should. If you look at the timeline, November 12th, he was ejected because he kind of got into a little bit of a tiff with Donovan Mitchell against the Cavs. Then he goes and puts Rudy Gobert in a chokehold, in a WWE headlock, and he gets suspended for five games after this on top of an ejection. Then again last night, he gets ejected for blatantly punching Nurkic in the face. Suspension is still pending, but when will the next toss be? If there will be one. Because you got to look at Draymond Green's history. He's been suspended five times in his career. While it's been a great career, this is definitely one of the lower moments that's happened. He also holds a record for the most active ejections, excuse me, the most ejections for active players with 18. That was the 18th last night. And he's had three ejections this season. Like I said, the Dubs only played 23 games. What are you doing, Draymond? If this is anybody else, I don't think there's a suspension. If there is maybe one or two, kind of like the Jokic and Morris altercation that happened two seasons ago where Jokic pushed Morris in the back. This may be one or two suspension for anybody else, but Draymond Green could actually get suspended for a pretty long time for this action because it's happened so frequently in his career and this season. And I'm the only one that thinks so. There are sports book odds out there that are actually predicting Draymond Green's suspension. Of course, you guys can see 21 to 30 games is plus 100. That's nuts. I was talking to Seeps, the host of the Bulls Report here at Chat Sports, and he was like, I could actually see 25 games for this one just because of who Draymond Green is and his track record. And it goes all the way down to no suspension, obviously not the best odds, and the rest of the regular season. Well, Draymond Green did actually make a statement right after the game this time, and he said, look, I'm not one to apologize for things. Yeah, Draymond, we're pretty aware of that. He said, I do apologize to you, excuse me, I do apologize to Yusuf because I didn't intend to hit him. I sell calls with my arms. So I was selling the call, and I swung and unfortunately hit him. You guys know me long enough. If I intended to do something, I'm not apologizing. But if I did make contact with him, I do apologize. It's a hard hit. What were you trying to do, Draymond? You fully closed your fist. You did a complete 360 turn and hit this man in the face. I get you were trying to sell a call, but I don't even understand what Nurkic was doing. He was playing defense on an inbounds call, and then you're going to go and just throw your hands up. You can flop, you can flail, but you can't punch somebody in the face. Do you guys actually believe Draymond sorry, or do you think he's trying to save face so he doesn't get another suspension? Because you got to think, the dubs were up 5, 65 to 60 when Draymond was suspended. They went on to lose by 3. Once again, he's hurting the dubs by being ejected. I don't know if I believe this apology, but I want to hear from you guys. Drop it down in the comments while I tell you guys about a sponsor today on Warriors Today. It is Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in America and definitely my phone. I play this every single game day because it gives me a little extra thrill to look forward to on game days. All you have to do is pick between two to six players and just pick more or less on their projected stats and you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Of course, I went on ahead and picked Cade, H Cade Cunningham to have more than 21 and a half points. I think he's been great for a very struggling Pistons team this season. And then I love the combo picks. Miles Turner and Giannis to have more than 20 rebounds. I mean, come on, you got to pick more. Life's too short, like Tracy Trace says. Always go with the more. All you guys have to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. 
and you can watch yourself win some real money in real time. Nurkic also came out and spoke about Draymond Green hitting him, just like Rudy Gobert did. And this comment really stood out to me. I mean, this is bad on Draymond Green's part. Nurkic said that what's going on with him? I don't know, personally. I feel like he needs help, but I'm just glad he didn't try to choke me. I mean, are players scared to start going up against Draymond? Not scared as in actually intimidated, but just kind of nervous as, am I going to get decked in the face? Am I going to get choked out during this game? We're here to play basketball, not fight. I thought that comment was uh, pretty eye-opening from Nurkic, but when you look at Draymond Green for what he's done for the Warriors this season, it's not much. Draymond Green got ejected with two points in last night's game. But over the season, he's played 12 games because he's been suspended for five of them because he got ejected in three of them and he was injured for two of them. And then he just missed another game because why not? I mean, this is not helping the Warriors at all who have a losing record. Draymond Green defensively is a big asset on the dubs, but he can't be an asset if he's not there. I think first and foremost, I got to put my opinion out there. This is childish, man. It is. I understand this is who Draymond is. He's not going to change. He's going to apologize or not apologize. But you're hurting your own team at this point. A team that's already hurting just offensively and defensively while they're playing the ball game. I think Draymond needs to change. And if not, I think the Warriors need to make a change. This can't keep happening. But that's just my opinion. Do you guys think Draymond Green is going to get ejected at some point again this season if he continues? I don't know how many games he could possibly be suspended for for this, but do you think another ejection is on the horizon? Go on ahead and type E for ejection, type any e for no ejection. Do you think Draymond actually learns from this? Only time will tell. I'm going to transition now to talk about Klay Thompson because Shams from The Athletic did release a pretty interesting report basically stating that the Warriors did offer Klay Thompson a deal before the season started for two years, $48 million, but that deal is no longer there. Well, let's break it down into tweets. Shams actually did say, that I'm told the Warriors offered a deal, two years in the range of $48 million and an extension to Klay Thompson before the season, and now there's no deal. This is $24 million a year. Of course, Klay Thompson has gone out there and said he wanted more of a Draymond type of deal, but this was the deal before Klay Thompson stepped foot on a court for this season. Klay Thompson is not playing well now, and now there's no deal. So I'm wondering, one can only speculate, did the Warriors take the deal away because Klay Thompson said no? Did they take the deal away because he's not playing well? He's a free agent the minute June hits and this season is over for the Warriors or potentially May. So will there be another deal in the near future if Klay Thompson decides to get his act together? or not? Did he miss his chance to stay with the Warriors? I think if there's no improvement, there may not be another deal. Klay Thompson has shown signs of life. He's definitely not the player that we've seen the previous years, but he's also dealt with two major injuries. He's a little bit older, so he may not be the player that we've grown to know and love. But if he doesn't start actually producing night after night, he was in single digits last night. There may be no other deal for Klay Thompson and the Warriors. But do you guys think the Warriors should even extend another deal? Considering, hey, look, they said here's $48 million, here's two years, here's what we can do for you on your road to retirement. And I don't know what happened, but that deal is not there. So go on ahead and type K for keep Klay, type NC for no contract extension for Klay Thompson. Because something pretty interesting actually happened last night for the Suns-Warriors game. These five players were on the court for the closing part of the game. They lost by three, 119 to 116 to the Suns. Look at this. No Wiggins, no Looney, no Klay Thompson. This is Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Dario, Brandon, and Jonathan. These are the final total of points they ended with on the night. That's why they were playing. Steph Curry was the only starter for the Dubs to be in double digits last night. The rest came from the bench. And you know what? Kudos to Steve Kerr. He said this a couple games ago. He said, look, it depends on who plays. Who plays the best? They're going to be in the game. So he benched the three guys who couldn't score a basket to save their lives, and he relied on the younger guys. Thank you, Steve Kerr. It's almost like Dubs fans have been saying play young for the past two years. Glad to see you're finally he's here, Steve Kerr. It only took you 23 games this season. Anthony Slater actually said that Clay Thompson wasn't happy that he was on the bench but he understood 
this is this was the best for the team. He said, I've been playing like crap. I deserve to be bench. Play the players that have been playing, like Brandon Pajenski, like Jonathan Kuminga. So, I think overall, that response was pretty mature from Klay Thompson. He could have rolled over. He could have made a lot of locker issues in a team that may already have locker issues with somebody like Draymond Green, and he didn't. Klay Thompson said, look, this was how I was playing. It was shit, so I'm going to sit on the bench and let our team win. Do I want him to help? Absolutely. But the bench is helping right now. Out of 116 points the Warriors scored last night, not including 24 points from Steph Curry, the bench had 80. Big thanks to Brandon Pajemski, the rookie, who's playing better than the vets right now. I hope Steve Curry learns a lesson from this game and plays better players moving forward because playoffs are on the horizon. I know we just hit the quarter mark, but this, this schedule counts now. The playoff odds right now for the Warriors to make the playoffs. Minus 155 for yes, plus 125 for no. Not the best odds right now at 23 games for the Warriors, but overall, do you guys think the Warriors are even going to make the playoffs this year with how they're playing right now? They have a losing record. I believe they're 10 and 13 on the season so far. Go on ahead and type Y for yes and for no if you think the Dubs are going to make the playoffs of 2023-24 NBA regular season. And nonetheless, if Draymond Green does get suspended, if Klay Thompson's going to get that contract extension, if anything happens with the Golden State Warriors, you're going to find it right here on Warriors Today by Chat Sports. That's why. Go on ahead and hit that sub button for me.